I'm very pleased that we're joined here in, uh, in Washington today by President uh, Conde of Guinea and uh, President Johnson Sirleaf of, uh, of Liberia and President uh, Karuma of Sierra Leone by video conference. Uh, the crisis has already had a profound impact on the millions of people in Guinea, Liberia, and Sierra Leone. People are going hungry and are able, unable to go to work. We're likely to see more cases in more countries. I will say that in the 30 years I've been working in public health, the only thing like this has been AIDS. And we have to work now so that this is not the world's next AIDS. I've been there 12 days ago, and I came this time to communicate three things. First, the situation is worse than it was 12 days ago. The disease is entrenched in the capitals. 70% of the people affected are definitely dying from this disease. And it is accelerating in all, almost all of the settings. Children are being orphaned. Most of the dead are women. We need to make sure that bodies are promptly removed from the streets of our cities and homes of our families. More than ever, we need qualified and dedicated staff to join the fight against Ebola, and we need to ensure that it all comes together immediately. So to all who have pledged, I say today, and please deliver now, and for those who have yet to pledge, I say today, please, do so soon. That's my urgent appeal. This is an unforgiving disease. Every dollar spent now <coughs> may well be worth more than 20 or 30 dollars spent in two months time. This is in a moment when there must be no postponement of financing decisions. It is good to increase the fiscal deficit when it's a matter of curing the people of taking the precautions to actually try to contain the disease. The IMF doesn't say that very often. It's good to increase the fiscal deficit. Olivier la communication, comme dit le président de la Banque africaine, pour casser cette psychose irrationnelle qu'il le trouve bien, à mieux expliquer ces quelques mots-là, pour que les hommes d'affaires reviennent. We are knowing in Nigeria, people, insurance companies, refuse to ensure staff to come for visits and for business. We must not roll back the progress made by this continent. So we have to celebrate the success of Senegal and Nigeria and make sure that, that Africa is open for business in all these other countries. 80 to 90 percent of the e economic impact is not from the virus itself. It's from the aversion behavior around the response. The only way to stop the aversion behavior is to get a fully adequate, effective response on the ground. Medivac. Finally, we have a solution. We have a contract, so we can, with uh, under 48 hours, guarantee the evacuation of international medical staff. Crucial for more people to go. Is we can uh, provide medical evacuation where that is indicated for responders, including healthcare workers. Our first batch, 20,000 uh, protective gear, uh, left Narita September 18, but it's still stuck in airport in Abuja. So more coordination is needed, and uh, uh, we, are, we are ready to do that, and uh, we are ready to, to work with uh, WHO and from there. I'll repeat again, let's get those 20,000 uh, PPEs out of, uh, out of Abidjan. Uh, it's, again, it's a show of uh, confidence to be able to do that. But what's really important is that the uh, uh, European community and the United States have committed to, to Medivac. This is really, really critical and has been the stumbling block for getting uh, skilled uh, health personnel uh, in, on site. We shall prevail. We have already ensured hundreds of survivors. We have to ensure the survival of tens of thousands more. We will kick Ebola out of our countries with your support.